dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, it is a pleasure to welcome all of you to this Cathedral of St. Matthew the Apostle as we celebrate the Solemnity of Pentecost. And while it is true that Pentecost happened almost 2,000 years ago, what we are celebrating today is the continuing outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the church. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit continues today. The manifestations are just different signs. At every baptism, we're reminded as we stand around the baptismal font and why we had the sprinkling rite to start this liturgy. What is actually happening is a very powerful spiritual reality. The washing away of sin, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, and our incorporation into the body of Christ. But to recognize all of this, one has to see with the eyes of faith and hear with the heart of belief. That was true at the first Pentecost. It was only because Jesus had already told the apostles that the Spirit would come upon them that they were able in that sound and sight of that glorious day to actually recognize the Holy Spirit. Today, we're asked to do the same thing. We're asked to see with the eyes of faith and listen with the heart of belief to the Spirit at work in this great Archdiocesan Church. This Pentecost, the Archdiocese of Washington experiences a unique moment in our history. Gathered in this cathedral are lay women and lay men, religious, deacons, priests, and the bishops of this local church as we conclude two years of work that has all been a part of our first Archdiocesan Synod. We see and hear in this ecclesial event the action of a new Pentecost. We may not have wind and tongues of fire, but we have the commitment, the service, the dedication, the love, the work of the faithful of this church. Lord, power of the Spirit, may thy kingdom come.